Hi guys, this is Oliver from Tutorial Pilot and welcome to our new preset tutorial. So we did a new transition uh, preset for you guys which is free for a download on our website. Just visit us on uh, illumi.design. Just click on tutorials and you find all of our tutorials. Uh, you can download any project files and under our download section you find the presets and our new preset is called shader preset so just download it and look what we can do with that so this is a very cool transition effect so first uh, please download the shader um, preset and install it to your um, after effects presets folder um, if you don't have any idea how to do that just look on our tutorials um, I think it was the one let me have a look uh, but I'm I think it was um, the mass slider preset uh, that we explain how to install the preset for anybody who doesn't know how to install a preset so first we make a new composition make it HD 920 by 1080 uh, the frame size uh, frame rate is up to you and the duration uh, also we leave it as default and hit OK and then bring maybe one footage in go to layer new adjustment layer and call that shatter okay and then go to your effects and preset settings and type in shatter and then you get the illumi shatter and just with the adjustment layer selected double click on that and here we go anything is already here as you can see okay and you can use that on any footage you like like so okay and on these uh, shader settings there are a few things I want to explain to you. Um, first is you can change the shape. On default it's a hexagon but you can use glass or bricks or planks or puzzle. Just check it out. Some cool presets. Um, maybe if you go to uh, planks you can um, achieve the uh, repetitions means as higher the value as more pieces you got of course it slows down render speed but it looks quite cool here we go it's blown away cool 3d looking effect which is only 2d and um, next volume to explain put that back to 30 and I want to use the hexagon where is it? Ah, here, here we go so um, the next thing we want to talk about in this uh, preset is uh, we have a CC force motion blur in it on default it's not checked of course it takes also render time but if you do your final renderings you should think about using it and think about using more uh, blur samples of course uh, 8 is a little bit looks ugly looks not so smooth so maybe let's try 24 this is a much better result and looks much more cooler but it takes a lot of time to render so make sure you use that only 
uh, in the final output. As you see, it takes a long time to render. Okay, so I switch that off again. Um, the next thing is we put some uh, expressions on that preset to um, give you control over the duration of that transition. Okay, right now on default it's about four seconds, as you see. Let's zoom in there a little bit. So the transition is finished after two and a two and a few seconds, maybe nearly three. Okay, so. If you guys need a faster transition, you can increase the slider speed here. The slider is called time to blend, which means the time to blend between your foreground and your background. Okay? Uh, if you increase that to maybe 150, so everything happens a little bit faster, so it's done after two seconds. You, you can increase that, of course, and of course you can decrease that, maybe you want to check out 90, so the transition takes much more longer time, so finished after 6 seconds, okay? So these are the settings in the shader preset. So what is it usable for? Maybe we want to change two or three footages. So important is this could uh, also be a movie clip or an animation or whatever you like to. Okay. If you want to use that, select both of them, say layer pre-compose and call that take one and hit OK. Double click take one. So that means this is your first take and the transition will happen immediately. If you want to stay this image for, let's say, five seconds, just take the shutter and bring it to five seconds. So that means your footage st stays and stays and stays and then the shutter happens. Okay? So it's easy to control, it's easy to time, and it's easy to trim. Okay? Why do a pre why, why I do a pre-compose, sorry, is because we want to do a transition between more than just one image. So we take this one, drop it in again, the next layer, new, adjustment layer, we call that shader 2, select it, Go to your effects and presets, Illumi shader, double click on it, tweak the shader to again 4 seconds for it, for for, uh, for example, select both and again layer, pre-compose, take this, call that take 2, okay. So now we go to frame. This one starts as we did before, starts on frame after five seconds or so. Here, after five seconds, the scatter begins. And in our comp, that means we go with take two, something about this. And here we go. Shatter from that to that, and we want to stay this background a little bit longer, let's say 10 seconds. And on the take one, we wanted the shattering happen in 120, so that effect is done in three seconds. So here we go. Stands, shattering, blending to the next, and again shattering to the next, this image to the next. So you can do 
take one, take two, take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever you need. Um, just have to pre-compose all of the single footages and you go to you go to your take and just put the shader layer as an adjustment layer that's important put the shadow layer on that time where you want to start the transition okay trim on the time to blend um, slider trim the, the duration of the transition pre-compose that as your take name and then just from top to bottom first second third and so on So this one comes after 10 seconds. So that means for us in our composition, I'm hope, hopefully, hopefully I'm not wrong, from 5 to 15, so something here must be start the shatter. Here we go. And so you can um, do some cool blend dissolve effects. Uh, no, not dissolve. Sorry, that was the wrong word. That's because I, it, it's late uh, late night here in Germany, so um, <laughs> you can do a uh, cool transition on your own, and you can tweak from transition to transition from transition to transition. Hope you enjoyed that very short one. Make sure to follow us on uh, Facebook and uh, subscribe us on YouTube. We say thank you. Um, yeah, uh, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>